Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey girls, welcome to Hubert's Model School Academy. This is going to be fifth grade mathematics week number 20 and day number two. All right, so today we're going to be talking about how to determine exchange rates using graphs. Graphs. Uh, so there are going to be times that you are given a graph like this. And they're going to tell you what is the worth of this money in another currency. So, for example, the graph I'm showing on the board right now is a graph that computes the worth of the Chinese yuan currency to the United States dollars. Okay, so you're going to see the United States do United States dollars on the horizontal axis or the X axis. That's what they call the horizontal axis over here. And then the Chinese currency, which is yuan, on the Y axis. So some people are going to have to do the dirty job for you. So they're going to say, use this graph over there to estimate how much the money, an amount of money is going to be worth by just using this graph like that. So they're going to ask us, for example, what is $300 in terms of the Chinese currency yuan. Well, so you're gonna go over there to $300 on the horizontal axis. This is where $300 is located. Then you're gonna go ahead and trace to this line chart. This is a line chart. So the line chart meets up here somewhere, and you're gonna trace that over here to the left side of it. So it's gonna be approximately equivalent to 2,000 yuan. That's how you do it. And if you run your numbers based on the table that we shared yesterday, you're going to see that the answer is really close to 2,000 yuan just for you like that. All right. What about $250? Well, $250 is going to be midway point between $200 and $300. Then you go ahead and you draw a vertical line up to meets the line sharp, and you're going to meet, meet the line over there. Then you go ahead and you trace it back over there to the vertical axis. So it seems like it's going to be in between $1,500, which is $1,500, and $2,000, which is going to be 1,750 yuan, just like that, all right? So that's how you can read your graphs, read your charts. All right, let's try to do another one. So if you turn to page number 154 of your workbook, so there's going to be another chart over there talking about the Nigerian Naira to the United States dollars. So they're going to tell us what is $40 in terms of Naira. Well, $40 is going to be right over here. And then you go ahead and you trace to the line chart and you bring it over here. It's going to be approximately equivalent right now to, let's say, $17,000. Well, in terms of Naira, $40 is going to be equivalent to 17,000 Naira, okay? So that's going to be another way to do another chart. So they want us to find out what is the worth of $75 looking at this chart. Um, looking at this chart right now, you're going to see $75 right in between 60 and 80. A little bit close to $80 over there. You move it over there. It's going to be approximately equivalent to, let's say, $30,000, okay, $30,000. All right, so that's what it's gonna be for you over there. Uh, so $75 is gonna be approximately equivalent to 30,000 Naira. Okay, 30,000 Naira, all right. So that's how to read charts. It's really simple, really easy. Identify where the number is on the horizontal x-axis. Trace it upward to meet the line chart and then trace it to the vertical axis and that's going to be your answer just like that. All right. Did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Let's go ahead and turn to page number 154. You are going to see additional things over there to retain this content a little bit better. I want to thank you boys and girls for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be
your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend So don't you 